All right, let's create the power supply for the RTU 5024 project. This is the circuit diagram we are going to build in this tutorial. We are not going to build the regulated stage because RTU 5024 have regulated ICs inside the unit. First, we got the transformer. This is 24 volt transformer, center trap, which means we have 12 volt by 12 volt outputs. This is 230 to 24 volt transformer, 3 ampere output. All right, then we have this 5 by 7 centimeter dot board. This is not a wearable board. All right, I, as you can see, I have already marked the portions of the components so it, it will be easy to place the components. All right, uh, next we have the fuse holder for the input of the transformer 230 5 ampere fuse. Then we have the connectors for the input and the output of the power supply capacitors 2200 microfarad 16 volt same value both uh, same value this is the rectifier uh, this is 20a 100ct all right let's start placing the components on the dot board since i have already marked the component portions it is easy to me to portion these components these components are portioned in a such a way that it require less copper wires to create the path between the pins That's how to place the components in the dirt board. Now I'm going to solder the path between these components. Uh, I'm going to place these copper wires between the pins that I want to connect and start soldering. Alright, that's it. As you can see, with the with the proper placement of components, you can use the minimum amount of copper wires to create trace parts in 
dot port. As you can see, some components are not aligned well. So you can to properly align. I'm going to hit this component pins and push the component from the other side. So it will sit on the dot board. Well. All right, let's connect the fuse holder to one of these input pri primary wires of the transformer. As you can see, there's some oxidization of this wire. You can either clean it or you can cut the wire short and check whether the wire is okay um, but i'm going to clean it Put the heat shrink in two. Now the soldering of the wire joint is done. I'm going to put the heat shrinking tube over it and then I'm going to apply the heat using the heat gun. Alright, that's it. Now the fuse is connected to one of the input files of the transformer. Now it's time to check the power supply we created. Alright, let's connect the transformer to the circuit and see whether it's working or not. All right, it's connected. Let's see the output voltage at the other end. All right, what is a digital multimeter? I right, put the multimeter on the DC mount and check the voltage. As you can see, we have seventeen point four open circuit voltage which means our circuit is working all right now we can connect this output to the rtu 5024 gate opener of the gsm relay controller if you like to know more about how to design power supplies with different types of transformers including the circuit diagrams Please check out the website article below in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in another tutorial. I'm Senel for learnitstepbystep.com.